can you avoid a prior trademark by combining two words into a single word? This is a question that clients often ask when we're doing a search for them and we come across trademarks that are too similar to what they're trying to use. Can they maybe combine two words, change the spelling a little, add an exclamation point at the end, or maybe put a hyphen between words? Is this enough to get around it? Generally, it's not. It's very fact dependent on what the other trademarks are, how many other similar marks there are that are being used on similar goods or products, because the more marks, the more registrations there are for similar goods, then usually smaller variations might be enough to get around them. However, in most cases, just changing the spelling, taking two words and putting them into one, or putting a hyphen there, or putting an exclamation or some other a punctuation mark as part of the mark does not get you around a mark that would be similar. And that's because there is case law that essentially says you look at the phonetic, meaning how it sounds. People are not necessarily going to know the exact spelling. So when they're looking for something, when they're typing in a search, they might misspell it and they might spell the other brands. So that's not enough. What you'll find is if you're going to create an entity which is done at the state level, usually with the Secretary of State of your state, they will let you register a business name if there's just a minor variation from anyone else that has a business. They do not look at it at the same standard as trademarks for infringement or likelihood of confusion for denying a trademark application at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. So there, at the state level for state business, you can have in pretty much every single state pretty much a same business entity with the same exact name. And then within many states, you can have very similar names that under trademark law would probably not be, would cause an issue under likelihood of confusion. So it's a case-by-case -case basis, unfortunately, but in general, most of the time, if it's really close, the, the changing of the spelling, a variation of, you know, even like dropping a letter sometimes, uh, you know, an abbreviation might not be enough to overcome a likelihood of confusion or refusal or an infringement. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, if you like these videos, please click subscribe below. Thanks for watching.